faced with the reality of economic recession, how will the Buhari government fulfill its campaign promises to Nigerians? Is there hope at the end of the tunnel? Or is the negative outlook just the icing on the economic cake? And the intrigues continue to unfold as the PDP leadership struggles to rein in the crisis that has rippled through its leadership ranks in the past months. Is a lasting solution anywhere close by or does the intrigue continue? That's our focus on the program. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. I'm Emana Amawe. Well, let's begin by telling you that former anti-corruption czar Mr. Nuhu Ribadu has returned to his old party, the Old Progressives Congress. Mr. Ribadu today in his domain in Adamawa State officially announced dumping the PDP. The former EFCC boss wanted to be governor of the state and also was in contest for the chairmanship seat of the party, but could not achieve all that. Mr. Ribadu was an ACN presidential candidate, that's the Action Congress of Nigeria presidential candidate in 2011. And um, we'll also tell you that preparations are ongoing for the conduct of the rerun elections in Kogi and Imo states as, as scheduled by the Independent National Electoral Commission in Kogi East Senatorial District of the state. The Independent National Electoral Commission has uh, begun distribution in Kogi of sensitive materials to eight local government areas where elections will take place. The resident electoral commissioner, Samuel Madaki, told journalists in local Jada state capital that all is set for Saturday rerun elections in Kogi East. And also in Imo State, despite political maneuverings, the umpire is not stopping in its efforts to achieving a peaceful and smooth conduct of the Saturday exercise. Well, let's get more now as we bring you some of our other top political stories we've been following at this time. Political Roundup on Channels Television. Here are your top political stories this time. The Sultan of Sokoto Al Haji Saad Abubakar has challenged Nigerian leaders to always uphold justice and not be biased in favor or against anyone for national unity to be sustained amidst the harsh economic realities the country is faced with. Sultan made the call while delivering a goodwill message at an Islamic gathering in Ilorin. He also charged Muslims to shun violence and not take laws into their hands. He says there's need for collective prayers for the nation. Let's show up with non Muslims, put them close to us, and tell them what is land is and what is land is not. There must be justice in the land for us to develop and survive. Injustice has no place in any decent society. And all hands are on deck for the peaceful conduct of the rerun elections in Imo State this Saturday. The Commissioner of Police in Imo State, Taiwo Lakanu, says the police and all other security operatives in the state will ensure that the rerun elections in Okigwe North Senatorial District, Isialambano, Oru East, and Owe West state constituencies are free, fair, and credible. The controversy surrounding the seat of the former Senate President David Mark has finally been laid to rest as the Court of Appeal sitting in Makati, the Berner State Capital, has affirmed the decision of the Election Petition Tribunal, which upheld the election of the Senator for the Berner South Senatorial District. The Appeal Court agreed with the lower tribunal in dismissing the petition filed by Mr. Daniel Onje of the All Progressive Congress against the declaration of Mark as the winner of the February 20 v one election on the grounds that the petition was filed out of time. According to the court, Section 285, Subsection 5, provides for 21 days within which a petitioner can approach the court with the computation of time, beginning from the day the result of the election is declared. While counsel to David Mark expressed joy 
that his client got victory, the petitioner is taking the judgment in good faith. I am happy to have uh, contributed to laying this matter to rest and to uh, you know, having the people of Abena out eventually enjoy the fruits of uh, their electoral victory. Welcome back. Well, remember, you can join the program and follow the conversation on Twitter. It's at CTV Politics, and the hashtag to follow is hashtag politics. Today, well, the federal government has said that the nation's economy is now in recession following two consecutive quarters of negative growth. Uh, the outlook, the Minister of Budget and National Planning, Senator Udo Udoma, said this while briefing State House correspondents at the end of the National Economic Meeting presided over by Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, in Abuja, he said that the likelihood of two quarters of negative growth, the economy could be said to be technically in recession. Well, let's hear more of what the minister had to say. We had a first quarter of negative growth. Uh, we're still waiting to get all the figures for the second quarter. If, as we suspect, the second uh, quarter is also negative, then of course technically you could say that we are in recession if those figures turn out uh, to be so. And now to the National Assembly where interesting politics has been playing out. Former Chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Appropriation, Abdul Momin Jibrin, has come out to protest against the manner he was relieved of his position in the House. In a statement, uh, the, the lawmaker says, um, which is in sharp contrast of his calm acceptance of his removal yesterday, the former chairman said, said uh, Yakubu Dogara, that's the Speaker of the House of Representatives, removed him and um, in a move that was a complete misrepresentation, false, mischievous, unfair, and a calculated attempt to bring his name to disrepute that um, except from the statement that uh, Honorable uh, Jabrin released. He says um, it's black mills and uh, an attempt to silence him and use him as a scapegoat. Goes on to say they were not comfortable with my independent disposition and my refusal to cover up their unilateral decision to allocate to themselves 40 billion naira out of the 100 billion naira allocated to the entire National Assembly. And uh, meanwhile, in a swift reaction, the, the uh, House of Representatives has reacted to what Abdul Mumin Jibrin says. Let's see what um, the, the spokesperson of the House of Representatives, Abdul Razak Namdas, had to say. He says, um, these are wild allegations against the House of Representatives and its leaders. Um, he goes on to say most of the allegations on the 2016 budget process and his opposition to immunity of the presiding officers are non-issues and mere afterthought manufactured simply because the House relieved him of his position. That's according to the Chairman of the House Committee on Media and Publicity.